I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control. And again, I'm coming to you from what I like to call Vera Training Central Command, or as everybody else calls it, my office. And the reason that I'm in my office today is to talk about scenes. In a previous video, I gave you an overview of what scenes, and we walked through the process a little bit. In this video, we're going to get into every little detail of what goes into setting up a scene. The first step is selecting a trigger. There are three different types of triggers that we can choose from. The first one is using a device. So we click on the arrow and we select which device from our device list that we want to use as a trigger. And it can be virtually anything in our Vera control system. I'm going to click on this door and window sensor and I'm going to choose what state or states I want to use as a trigger whenever the coat closet door window sensor is armed and opened, armed and closed, whether it is armed or disarmed and opened, or closed whether it is armed or disarmed. In this case, because I'm going to use this on a closet door, I'm going to choose opened whether it is armed or disarmed. And then I click on validate. When using a device as a trigger, there is one more option. I can limit when the scene runs to certain days and certain times. I do that by clicking on the clock. I then click restrict the trigger to certain times and then select the days and the time on those days that I want the scene to run. And it's just that simple. Now the scene only runs at the times and on the days that I've selected. Now, if I want to have a second trigger to activate this scene, maybe I want to use a motion sensor as well, I would just go to add another trigger and click on plus and choose the device or the schedule that I also wanted to have activate this scene. So I could choose select device and go through that same process again. The second type of trigger is using a schedule and there's a number of different ways that we can use this. We can have it do it on an interval every certain amount of time so every five minutes or hours or days I can trigger it to have something happen. I can have it happen daily at a specific time of day so I could choose 7 p.m. We could also use sunrise or sunset, before sunrise, before sunset, after sunrise, after sunset. When you put your zip code into the Vera control system, we use that to locate where you are so that we know what time sunrise and sunset is. And these will adjust every day automatically based on sunrise and sunset. So an example would be before sunset, 15 minutes, I have my front light turn on automatically so nobody ever gets home to a dark house. Now we can do this weekly and we can choose which days that we want to have a scene happen. We can have it happen on specific days of the month or we could just have it happen once. The last type of trigger is a manual trigger. Maybe you have a home theater room and you have lighting in your home theater room and when you go down to watch your home theater, you want the lights to go into a certain state, you can just press the manual button. You could also use an appliance switch to turn on a popcorn maker if you wanted to, but you never want to put this on a schedule because you never know what time of day specifically you're going to want to go and watch a movie. You can trigger a scene through the web interface, through the mobile apps, or with a scene controller. The second part of setting up a scene is selecting what devices we want to have do something and what we want to have them do. And then if there is a delayed action, something else we want them to do after a certain period of time. So the next step is to choose the devices that we want to have do something. So let's assume that this is a scene that I'm going to use in my own home and this is going to happen every day at 730. That's when I take my children up to put them to bed. So I'm going to select the devices by clicking on select devices and we're going to choose which devices we want to have do something. So I want to do something with a the thermostat, the front door, the LED in the family room, my living room dimmers, 
And that's probably enough stuff. Once we've selected the devices, we click on Next. And then we tell it what we want to have happen as part of this scene. So with my thermostat, I want to actually bring my temperature down to 62 degrees for the night because we're pretty much all upstairs for the night. If I wanted to turn the lamp on, I would just click on on. And if I wanted it at a specific percentage, I could do that. But I actually want to keep that turned off. Same thing with this one. I want it off and I want this one off. And my front door, I want to make sure, just in case somebody forgot, that we lock the front door. And then we click on validate. And it's just that easy to select the devices that you want to have do something in a scene. Now we also have a feature called delayed action. If I wanted something else to happen later on, I can choose for the delay to happen immediately, or I can choose for the delayed action to happen at a later time. So in, let's say, two hours, I'm going to validate that. In this case, I'm going to choose my front door lock. And that's the only thing I want to do a delayed action with. And the reason that I'm selecting that is that occasionally my wife or I will run out to the car to grab something that one of the children left in the car and we're in such a hurry, we'll forget to lock the door. So two hours later, I want to make sure that my front door is locked. And that's for me a safety and security thing. And once I'm done, and I could do this, by the way, with as many devices as I want. I could change the thermostat once again. But once I'm done, I click Validate. And in step three, we finish the scene. We select what modes we want it to be active in, who, if anybody, we want to have get notifications. There's a couple of advanced steps, and then we're going to name the scene. The first step in finishing the scene is choosing what modes the scene is active in whether it's active in home, away, night, or vacation. So in my house, I have certain scenes, lighting things that run, that I don't normally run when I'm on vacation to make it look like we're home. So I choose which modes just by clicking on the box. So the scene that we were just talking about in the last segment, I don't want that to run when we're not at home. I only want that to run when we are home. So I don't want the thermostat set back so I don't want to get home to a freezing house later on. Once you've selected the modes in which it runs, you click Done. When this scene runs, notify the following people. So an example of how this could be useful would be with the door lock. When my son gets home from school and puts his door lock code in, mom can receive a notification that he got home safely that his code went into the door lock. Or if you're using a water sensor, a scene is simply when water is detected, notify. And maybe you want to notify everybody. Once you've selected who you want to have notified, click on Done. The next step is also execute the following loop code. Loop code is a means with which for people who understand how to write code, is a way for them to customize their Vera control system. If you don't understand how to write code, this is not an area that you should get into. The next step is to name the scene, and then the last step is to click on Finish. And then your scene is added to your scene list. And that's how we configure scenes. If you want to get the Vera news first, follow us on Facebook. If you want to see these videos as soon as we post them, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If there's anything you'd like to see me talk about in any of these videos, email us training at getvira.com. Remember at Vera, it's not about what we can do, it's about what you no longer have to do.